Hello friends, welcome to my new video. In this video, I am giving a quick review of large 10.25 inch cast iron skillet pan and a must do seasoning part which you must be doing for all kinds of cast irons before using it for the first time. I bought this large cast iron recently from Walmart. Even though large cast iron comes seasoned, you must be doing your part of seasoning in order to have a longer life for your pan. Firstly, let's see what the features are of a large cast iron. There is a large trademark printed at the back of the pan and also it says the size 5 and USA. So if you are unsure whether your pan is uh, genuine you can have a check at the bottom of the pan to ensure that it belongs to large and the main feature of a cast iron pan is it retains heat which is really helpful when you are cooking steak or ground beef we can also see that the pan has got a teardrop handle which is really smooth and elegantly curved and it helps to have an easy grip on the pan this cast iron pan can be used in electric stove, gas stove, glass stove, induction cookware, oven or even campfire which is really good. Now I am going to spread a newspaper on my countertop in order to do the seasoning part of the cast iron. I don't want to make my countertop messy. Um, I just randomly took a newspaper. Uh, please do not get bothered what the news is shown or whoever the persons are on the newspaper. So let me peel off the sticker attached to the pan. Uh huh. Looks like more instructions are given at the back of the label. Let's see what they are. It says seasoning is simply oil baked into the iron giving you a natural, easy release finish that will improve with each use. Dishwashers, metal scouring pads and harsh detergents can harm the finish, obviously. If this happens, you can revive your seasoning. Be sure to lift your pan when moving it on a glass top stove. Use any utensils you like, even metal. Heat and cool your pan gradually for added longevity you'll have to protect your mitts when using these as the handles can get really hot add a little extra oil the first few uses some foods can be stepped on on new cookware and you should not microwave in order to do the seasoning First, you will have to wash your cast iron pan well in hot soapy water and then you will have to dry it thoroughly. Now take the oil for seasoning. Keep in mind that you will have to use a high smoking point oil. I used canola oil. You can use avocado oil, grapeseed oil, vegetable oil, canola oil or even coconut oil. Then spread a thin layer of oil over the skillet. You have to oil the entire iron pan, the front, back and even handle.
Once spreading oil on the pan is complete, you will have to remove the excess oil from the pan using a paper towel. Once that's complete, take the cast iron pan, keep it in an oven and bake the cast iron pan in the oven to reach to a temperature of 375 degrees and leave the cast iron pan in the oven for about one hour. Let it cool inside the oven and once it's cooled, take out the cast iron pan, keep it in a paper and then wipe off the excess oil remaining on the pan. Once you have wiped out the excess oil remaining on the pan, you can either store your pan on your cupboard or you can use the pan for cooking right away. And the pan is good to go. I've been using cast iron pans for several years and honestly speaking, large cast iron pan is the best pan I've ever used in my life. I've been using my cast iron pans for cooking dishes such as steaks, ground beef, chicken or even frying fishes and they all taste so yummy after cooking on my cast iron pan. I'll be keep on using my cast iron pans for cooking ever after, completely satisfied. See, you can see the ground beef I cooked on my cast iron. It was not sticking on my pan and it was so good after cooking. See, see how, how, how good my pan was doing. And I'm completely satisfied and I would suggest each and everyone who is looking for a good cast iron iron to go for large cast iron as this is the best. Thank you for watching.